but the Lord shall endure forever. He hath prepared his throne for judgment, and he shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for thou, Lord, hast not forsaken them that seek thee. Israelites, when the Most High revealed the oppressor causing hardship in your life, you must act on the matter. The Most High is not showing you the oppressor for you to ignore your dreams. Even if you do not understand what is happening, you must take action. Rebuke all evil dreams, accept and forge a covenant if the dreams comes from the Most High. If you do not rebuke evil dreams, the unclean spirits will continue to harass you in the spirit and physical realm. As a result, you will endure many hardships throughout your life. Israelites, I want you to be able to differentiate spiritual attacks in the spirit realm. In addition, dreams where the Most High is giving you insight about your life, someone else's life, prophecy, and self-inflicted dreams. It is important that you are able to differentiate. When the kingdom of darkness attack you in the spirit realm, you are usually terrified in your dreams. When you wake up from the dream, you are fearful. I want to give you a few examples to help you understand when the kingdom of darkness is attacking you. Many Israelites have had dreams where an unclean spirit is choking them. You dream you were shot and when you wake up, you can feel the pain. Dreams where a dog bit you or any animal, once you wake up from the dream, you can feel the pain where the animal has bitten you. When you wake up from your sleep, you find marks on your body. When you hear noise, unusual smell, or someone calling your name and nobody is present. Dreams where you are conscious, however, you were unable to move as if you were paralyzed. The world labeled the attack as sleep paralysis. The kingdom of darkness has a way of disguising their attack. That way you'll never get to the root. Israelites, sleep paralysis is when an unclean spirit is holding your spirit hostage in the spirit realm. The unclean spirit is holding your spirit down, preventing your body and spirit in uniting. The reason the kingdom of darkness holds your spirit down, they want to forge a covenant before you leave the spirit realm, in addition to insert fear in you. When you are fearful, you open the door to the kingdom of darkness. Remember, you must close all the doors in your life, giving the kingdom of darkness an opportunity. That is the first step in spiritual warfare. The scriptures describe death as when your spirits separate from the body. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Israelites, it is important for you to understand your spirit is the real you. If anything horrible happens to your spirit, you will suffer severe injuries. Every time you go to the spirit realm, your body remains wherever you laid your body down to sleep. You do not need your earthly body to operate in the spirit realm. The Most High require that every spirit have a body to operate in the physical realm. Without your spirit, your body is useless. Israelites, you must take everything you see in the spirit realm seriously and address every injury your spirit receive in the spirit realm. Attacks such as sleep paralysis, being choked, gunshot wounds, getting bit by an animal, unusual smells and marks on your body, that is the kingdom of darkness attacking and tormenting you. The root to these attacks stems from witchcraft. Israelites, witchcraft is very deep. Almost all the attacks against you are the results of witchcraft and ancestral spirits. Ancestral spirits and witchcraft goes hand in hand, as well as idolatry. When you hear someone calling your name and nobody is present, that is ancestral spirits trying to get you to submit. They are trying to enforce the generational covenant. The kingdom of darkness attacks are vivid. Israelites, the attacks are very real. Remember, your spirit is the real you. When your spirit is injured, it will manifest in the physical realm. Everything that is going to happen to you will take place first in the spirit realm. Spiritual injuries are very real. When your spirit is injured, you have to ask the Most High to heal you. Spiritual injuries can result in a physical death if you do not deal with the injuries. 
society calls the kingdom of darkness attacks nightmares. Dreams that are vivid and diabolical are attacks from the kingdom of darkness. When you are attacked, you must fight back. Do not allow the kingdom of darkness to intimidate you with fear. Fear is a spirit. The Most High did not give us the spirit of fear. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Majority of the time when the kingdom of darkness attack you, they want to dim your light because you are getting strong spiritually. You are beginning to interfere with their plans. In addition, the workers of iniquity in the kingdom of darkness wants to steal from you. Israelites that made up their mind to serve the most high in the spirit and in truth, in addition, seeking wisdom and understanding are a threat to the kingdom of darkness. That is why the awakening is hate speech. You can cause serious destruction to the kingdom of darkness when you made up your mind to serve the Most High and to fight back properly. The synagogue of Satan did not label us Israelites as terrorists and monitoring our channels for no reason. The knowledge you are receiving in the awakening are information religion refused to release to the people. I can go deep, but I have to hold myself back. Too much information would scare many people due to unbelief and revealing too much wisdom is arming our enemies. That is why it is important that you seek the most high for yourself. The kingdom of darkness attack you because they want to steal your blessings. The kingdom of darkness know when the most high is going to bless you. Therefore, Satan increased the attack to prevent you from receiving the blessings. Remember the thief come to steal, kill and destroy. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Israelites, when your dream is revealing an attack from the kingdom of darkness, you must put on the whole armor of Yah to stand against the enemy. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You must equip yourself and begin spiritual warfare battle. Simply rebuking the attack is not enough. The kingdom of darkness is attacking you for a reason. Do not sit there and complain. When your enemy invades your territory, you do not sit there and observe your enemy take all that belongs to you. I do not think any of you would stand still and let someone punch you in the face. Most of us would punch that person back. Well, Israelites, when the kingdom of darkness attack, do not sit there and say, Yah will fight for me simply because the Most High said vengeance is his and he will repay. You must ask the Most High to fight for you. If you do not ask Yah to intervene, the kingdom of darkness will punch you in the face and steal everything that belongs to you. Satan will use you to conspire against yourself. When you have vivid dreams or nightmares, that is an attack from the kingdom of darkness using the workers of iniquity to carry out the attack. Those types of dreams require spiritual warfare battle right away. Send those arrows back to the sender in sevenfold. You must get spiritually angry. Speak the word. Yah said, I suffer not a witch or a warlock to live. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Israelites, you must boldly say to the workers of iniquity in the kingdom of darkness that your blood will not be shed for no devil or wicked person. You tell that witch, warlock, and unclean spirits that their blood is on their own heads. Ask the Most High to stone them to death. A man also, or woman that hath a familiar spirit, or that is a wizard, shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. The scriptures said, As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Israelites, start having the mindset of a warrior, a child of the supreme ruler of all creation. You better say, I hate them with a perfect hatred, just like King David said. Read Psalm 109 and understand how harsh King David spoke of the wicked. Follow King David's example when he was not afraid to go against Goliath, despite all odds was against him in the flesh perspective. In the spirit, he had the army of the Most High fighting for him. And David spake to the men that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to the man that killeth this Philistine, and taketh away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? David said, moreover, 
the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand, and I will smite thee and take thine head from thee. And I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Israelites, stop entertaining the kingdom of darkness. When the workers of iniquity fast, pray to their idols, and give a sacrifice in exchange for your destiny, they are looking to destroy you. Send their wicked deeds back to them. Just thinking about how the workers of iniquity and the kingdom of darkness interfere with the Most High's people provoke me to righteous anger. I was a victim. That is why I make it my purpose to equip you. Israelites, I look for the harshest judgment the Most High reserved for the wicked, Send that judgment to my enemies in sevenfold and remind the Most High of his words. Yah's words will not return to him void. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. There are dreams that are revealing the specific spirits oppressing your life or the life of the people around you. These kinds of dreams would show a particular spirit or multiple spirits trying to forge a covenant. For example, the spirit of poverty is enforcing the existing covenant. You would dream of rats or any other symbols that represent the spirit of poverty. A person can have multiple dreams in one night. Israelites, with these types of dreams, the Most High is showing you what is causing the hardship in your life. In addition, the Most High is showing you what spirit to attack. If the spirit of poverty is the oppressor, attack the spirit of poverty. If you attack the spirit of delay and the spirit of poverty is the problem, the spirit of poverty will maintain a stronghold in your life while the spirit of delay flee from you. When you attack the right spirit, the unclean spirit will receive spiritual injuries. We are not the only ones who can suffer spiritual injuries. When the kingdom of darkness receives spiritual injuries, they are wounded severely. When unclean spirits attack you and your spirit fight back, you always overpower the demon. Have you noticed when your spirit is fighting back, your dream is interrupted by waking up? The reason the kingdom of darkness is trying to escape before you injure the demon. Israelites, the Most High gave us power to overcome serpents, scorpions, and the entire kingdom of darkness. And by no means could they hurt you. Use the power. Behold. I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Israelites, when you are in the spirit realm, you have the ability to do incredible things. You can jump high, dodge bullets, jump on top of buildings, and many more capabilities. You are not limited in the spirit realm. In the physical realm, you are limited. You cannot jump off a building without injuring yourself or risking death. You must ask the Most High to show you how to utilize the power he has given to you. Israelites, an important detail I want to share. When an unclean spirit has a hold on your life, the unclean spirit can appear adult size or they can look gigantic. When the spirit look old, adult size or larger than usual, that is indicating the power that spirit has on you. The bigger and older the spirit appear, the greater is the hold. When the same unclean spirit starts to shrink in size, that is revealing the power that spirit has on you is deteriorating. Once the devil becomes incredibly small, you have overpowered that devil. In some cases, you will see yourself killing that devil in the spirit realm. An example I can share with you when you see yourself killing a roach or a small animal. The animal would symbolize a specific spirit or a lesser demon you overpowered. Do not mistake an unclean spirit that appears to be the same size of a child with spirit children or regular children in your dreams. 
Dreams where the Most High is revealing a specific oppressor, Yah is highlighting your target. Yah is also pointing out to you where to start to pray. Your dream is also revealing the iniquities causing a separation between you and the Most High. In addition to sin giving the kingdom of darkness an opportunity. For example, if the spirit of lust is tormenting you, the Most High is instructing you to deal with the sin of lust in your life. When you repent and close the door, you can begin to attack the spirit of lust. Dreams are not only revealing your oppressors, your dreams are also revealing your weaknesses and prophecy. Dreams where the Most High is showing you the result of a certain situation before it happens are prophetic or spiritual insights. In some cases, when you have a prophetic dream, you can see yourself in a third person. For example, you are watching the event take place. In some cases, you are watching yourself doing things in a dream. You can be at a distance or nearby watching what is happening. In some dreams, the Most High will show you what is happening to a person. You will see yourself in the same room with that person. You have the ability to see and hear everything that is being said. However, the people interacting in the dream cannot see you. Be careful with prophetic and spiritual insight dreams. Sharing the information received can be dangerous for the people involved and you. Sharing the information with the wrong person will invite the kingdom of darkness to tamper with the knowledge received. The Most High may be sharing the information with you for you only to know. When you are watching yourself accomplish a task and you are having difficulties completing the task, you see yourself crying about the situation, the Most High is revealing the result to a particular task or goal you want to complete. If you're crying or the goal was not accomplished, Yah is showing you the situation will end badly if you do not act on the matter. Yah is showing you the result to give you a chance to change the outcome. Israelites, you can give yourself a dream. If you are worried about something or you admire a particular thing, you can make yourself dream about that thing. You will find yourself dreaming about what you want the same night. Be careful. The kingdom of darkness will try to deceive you by making you believe the dream is from you. Instead, it was the kingdom of darkness deceiving you. If you are unsure, pray a general prayer rebuking all evil covenants established. It is important that you know how to differentiate your dreams. The spirit of delay, rejection, and backwardness travel together. Unclean spirits travel in a pack. The kingdom of darkness have no problem uniting to accomplish its goals. Unclean spirits are always seeking a place of refuge in a person. A person can be plagued with legions of unclean spirits. The scriptures reveal to us when an unclean spirit leave a person, it stays in dry places seeking rest. If the unclean spirit cannot find a new house, it will bring seven other spirits wicked and stronger than it to overpower the person's will. If that person is not right with the Most High, the state of that person will be worse than before. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest, and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. Other spirits travel with the spirit of delay, backwardness, and rejection. The spirit of anti-marriage and rejection are companions as well. The spirit of rejection caused the people in your life and outsiders to view you in a negative way. The people around you have a distorted view of you. They are not seeing the real you. Instead of seeing a woman or a man that loved the Most High, they will see a self-righteous person who think he or she is better than everybody else is. The person that is oppressed by the spirit of rejection will assume the people around him or her are jealous or dislike them for no particular reason. The truth is the spirit of rejection is blinding the people's eyes. The spirit of rejection can destroy a person's life if they do not deal with this spirit at the root. The diabolical spirit of rejection will cause people to reject you everywhere you go. In addition to people having a negative view of you, the spirit of rejection will cause the person being oppressed to act in a way that will cause people to reject him or her. 
The spirit of rejection can make a person become prideful if they're not careful. They will begin to reject everyone because they feel other people are not on their level. For example, many Israelite males are rejecting their counterpart, the daughters of Zion, for the strange woman. The spirit of rejection is causing them to view the daughters of Zion in a negative perspective. There is a spirit behind everything. There is nothing new under the sun. Most people believe it is preference. No, it is not preference. The spirit of rejection is causing you to behave this way. You must seek deliverance. The spirit of rejection will cause your help meet or husband to reject you. Remember the spirit of anti-marriage travel with the spirit of rejection. The culprit in the spirit realm causing people to reject you are marine spirits. If you have a spirit spouse, that devil will cause your earthly mate to reject you. Spirit husband and wife are wicked. The marine spirits will see to it that you do not get married. The spirit spouse will use the spirit of rejection to cause all potential mates to reject you. A spirit spouse is extremely jealous. The spirit of rejection show up in the spirit realm in the form of a spirit spouse, marine spirits. When you see yourself using a dirty toilet, urine symbolizes rejection. If you have a dream of you using the bathroom, you wake up and your bed is wet, that is a witchcraft hit of rejection, send that arrow back to the sender. If you dream that everywhere you go, the people around you are ignoring you, that is the spirit of rejection. Break the covenants. The spirit of delay show up in the spirit realm in multiple ways. If you see yourself driving and there is a detour or the road is blocked, that is the spirit of delay. If you see yourself having to start over or having a hard time getting to your destination, that is the spirit of delay. In the physical realm, if you find yourself taking a long time to accomplish a task that could have taken a few minutes, that is the spirit of delay. Another way the spirit of delay manifests in the physical realm, everything happens for you later in life. Break the covenants. The spirit of backwardness is oppressing many Israelites. The spirit of demotion travel with the spirit of backwardness. If you find yourself stagnant and unable to get ahead, that is the spirit of backwardness. When you are working hard to turn your life around, you are doing the right things to be successful, yet nothing is working out for you, that is the spirit of backwardness. When everything fall apart at the last minute, that is the spirit of almost there and backwardness. The spirit of backwardness show up in the spirit realm in the form of living in the past. When you dream you are back at the house you grew up in, attending elementary school, you dream you are back in a neighborhood you used to live in or a country you migrated from, all of these dreams symbolize backwardness. The further back you go, the stronger of a hold the spirit of backwardness has on your life. If you're always dreaming of going back to one particular place or event in the past, a generational curse of backwardness is in your family. It is also witchcraft. If you dream you are best friends with a person you have not spoken to in years in the physical realm, that is the spirit of backwardness. Dreaming of former co-workers in a place of employment is the spirit of backwardness. Anytime you have a dream that is taking you back to a chapter you have already completed, that is the spirit of backwardness. Break the covenants. If you seek to be free, you must humble yourself and begin your deliverance. Remember, everything is a spirit. You must engage in spiritual warfare to fight back. Do not accept the kingdom of darkness oppression. Now that you have the wisdom needed to be free, use the wisdom. Do not be afraid. The spirit of delay, backwardness, and rejection are under your feet. Israelites, as you seek the Most High, you will mature spiritually. Your life will begin to change. I am a living testimony. When you begin to spend time in the Most High's presence, you will see how close Yah is to you. You will see Him. Allow the Most High to be the teacher your spirit yearned for to find success in this great awakening. And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God that hath dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, 
and that I am the Lord your God and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. 